Welcome to Technique Tuesdays with the Department of Parks and Recreation, Prince George's County. This is your home each week to stay healthy and to keep your sports skills sharpened. Let's live more, play more. Hi, welcome to Technique Tuesday. I'm your host, Rick Peacock. Today we're gonna to be showing you speed and agility drills. The purpose behind this is to do some dynamic running to get blood flowing into the muscles so you can prepare for a stretch. So at this time, we'll show you some of the key runs to loosen up in order to uh, get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna do the toe touch and basically with this, you just want to stretch and kind of get your body going, all aspects. So you're just going to go down, swipe. You want to keep your legs straight, kind of bend at, the, bend at the waist, go down, step, try to get the ground. And it's just giving you a little pull on your hamstrings, your back, and just kind of getting the blood going. So the next drill we want to do is to get the blood pumping is we just want to do a slow jog, just expanding, trying to get the, the legs going. So you, you can see he can bring his heels up. You just want to make sure that the legs are going and getting the blood flowing. And the next thing we want to do is explosions. Now with the explosions, you want to try to get off of the ground, trying to explode up and get height and get the quick twitch muscles going. So Tom will show you a good uh, technique on that. As he goes, you can watch him drive up, getting height, almost like going up for a layup or like a rebound, but that's a great drill to get your legs going. Bringing that back, what he's going to do is he's going to work on his hip flexor and just his legs and he's going to what we call open the gate. And this is for basically turning and just loosening up your hips. So he'll show you the proper technique of doing open the gate. As you can see, he lifts his knee up, he's lifting it up high and he's opening up his hip. Okay. He's loosening it, uh, lo loading it up, and then uh, taking it to the side, just like you open a gate. And the last thing we want to do is you're just doing a side shuffle. We'll take it up and back, where you're just going side to side, and it's a lateral shuffle. So stay low, keep your chest up, and just, just shuffle down the line. That's, that's just loosening up your lateral movement and getting ready to go. And bring it back one more time. And that's good. So that right there is a good portion of just how to loosen up and getting your body ready uh, for exercise. The next thing we're going to do is now that we got the blood pumping a little bit, now we want to expand on our flexibility and our range. And we're going to do that by doing our stretches now that we got blood into our bodies and into our muscles. So the first thing we're going to do is just do a simple toe touch where he'll just go along and um, just go down and he'll cross over and he'll just go down and stretch his back, stretch his hams, and he'll just reach down and just try to get range. This is keep your, keep your legs straight, bend at, the, bend at the waist, and all that's doing is just bringing uh, range into you. It's a great drill to loosen up. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a side lunge. And this is for your groin area, for your hamstrings, so you just want to take it over. Notice that he puts all of his weight over on his right leg. He's got a good stretch. He's feeling it in his hamstring and his groin. And then what he'll do is he'll bring it over to the other side. You want to get a good, even distribution on that. That's good. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to concentrate on the groin area and, and our midsection. So he's going to do a squat. Okay. And all he's doing right here, he's keeping his legs flat. And he's down in a deep squat, showing a big chest, and that's stretching out his, his back, his lats, and also his hamstring and his glutes. So getting that blood in there, expanding his range. And the last thing, uh, or the second to last thing he's do is uh, we're going to do a down dog. So he's going to lay down. And what he's going to do is he's going to try to get stretch on his upper body. Okay. Takes it down, and he puts his pelvis to the field and he pushes up with his hands and he exposes his chest. 
that's contracting his back and giving range. It actually helps with your hamstrings and your glutes as well. You can see the angle, chest is up, the back is stretched out. Very good. Now I'm going to take it into uh, just a back stretch. Take it all the way back. Put your, try to get you, if you can, this is tough, but if you can put your uh, buttocks down on your heels and get a good stretch forward, that stretches out the whole entire body. That's good. Now you're ready for action and ready to do some exercises and, uh, and, and some drills. So the purpose of our warm-up and our stretch is to get us to the point where we can work a speed ladder. The speed ladder is great for not only football players, but any athlete that's willing to work on his footwork and develop speed uh, within his feet. Helps with balance and just basically getting an athletic rhythm. What I mean by an athletic rhythm is moving smoothly and gracefully on the field and it helps and all starts with your feet. So the first drill we're going to do is we're just going to establish uh, getting our feet down and trying to move them as fast as he can. So we're going to do one foot in each hole. As Tom goes through, he'll show you. You just want to kind of, it's not a speed necessarily. It's more of precision and getting your feet down. Take it back, Tom. He's going to hit. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go through and he's going to do two feet in each hole. Now, one thing I want to point out when you're doing this, you can add an extra element to your drill. In any sport that you're doing, the most important thing is to finish what you're doing, whether on the field or off the field, finishing is important. So as a parent or as a coach or as a young person that's out there trying to just get better, at the end of each drill, put a component in where you get a five yard burst. And don't think it in terms of you just running five yards for nothing. Think it in terms of giving your all and finishing. You're going to finish with a purpose. So moving forward, Tom, as you go through, I want you, after you run each drill, to give me a five-yard burst just as hard as you can just to practice finishing and being successful. So now we're going to go with two feet as fast as we can and a burst. Here we go. As he goes through, he's got his arms pumping. Now give me a burst. Boom. Great technique. Good job. All right, bring it back, Tom. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a side shuffle. We're going to get our knees up, we're going to pump our arms, and we're going to get a steady movement, and we're going to work a speed, speed. Working his arms, pumping his knees, give me a burst, give me a burst, boom. Great technique, good job. All right. He ran away from me on that one, so I got to keep him. He was going so fast, he couldn't slow down. We're going to do the icky, um, icky shuffle here, and with this drill, it's a uh, one uh, two feet in, one foot out, two feet in, one foot out. Tom's going to go through a little bit slow, show you the rhythm and the technique of it, and then he'll go shoot through and show you how to go through, through through speed. Here we go. Come through, in and out, two feet in, out, two feet in, out. As you see, he's working his arms during the process because your arms help generate speed, keeps your momentum going. He's staying on his toes and then a burst. And now he's going to give you what it should look like when you're going out and you're working for speed. So here you go. You're going to get full speed in and out. Look at his arms going back and forth. Explode. The next one, the next drill we're going to do is a quick step. So you're going to be working on getting your foot in and out. It's great for running routes. It's just for a change of direction. This is what this drill is for. You'll see Tom go through. He'll take it slow the first time. He's in and out, hitting his foot, getting back putting his foot in there, trying to get it in and out of the ground as fast as he can. You can see he's using his arms, okay? So this time he's going to give you a two. He'll go down, hitting with the left foot. He'll come back, hitting with his right foot, and it'll explode. Here we go, full speed. Pumping his arms, getting that footwork. Bring it back. Come back with your right foot. And explode, explode, good. Next one we're going to do is our speed karaoke. And basically what this is, is, is a, um, a hip twist. It's basically being able to loosen up your hips. Tom will go through. It's kind of difficult for younger folks, but it's, it serves a great purpose because it loosens up their hips. So you're hitting and you're taking your back, back foot and you're planting it in the box. 
as you can see, he's turning his hips while he's going when he places his foot, okay? And then we'll come back and we'll go full speed and we'll get an a explosion at the end. Here we go, full speed. Pump your arms, turn your hips, turn your hips, good, good. He's driving his hips. See how he's turning his hips and firing his hips? Now explode, finish. Very good. You don't need to run that far. That's why you're tired. You keep running down the end zone. I'm only first for five yards. I'll slow down. I'll stop when I die. See, you ain't never ran. That's why. I didn't have to. All right, next one we're going to do is um, explosion hop, but we're going to try to get in and off the ground, but up high. So we're not going to take this slow. It kind of explains itself. So he's just going to explode and bounce and try to get as high as he can. Very good. You also notice that sometimes he might hit the ladder. That's going to happen. It doesn't matter if you're a young person or an uh, experienced veteran doing this. You're going to hit the ladder and it's going to move. That's the concept of it is to give you landmarks. So don't be upset if you, you tear up. Just keep practicing and working at it. The last one he's going to do is going to do a hop slalom where he's going to bounce in and out with his, with his feet. He's just alternating feet, and you'll see as he comes through, it's just a speed thing of picking it up. Bring it through one last time. Let's go for speed and explode at the end. Very good. Using his arms, takes off. That's the end of our, our ladder work. I think if you incorporate some of these things, but most importantly, do a good stretch before you start doing it, as you can see. It's a lot of movement, and you want to make sure that your muscles are stretched out. But if you dedicate yourself to working this ladder, you'll build your speed, you'll build your agility, and you'll also become a better athlete in whatever sport you decide to play. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to tune in again and visit the online resource center at pgparks.com. Your one-stop shop for arts, fun, fitness, and sports. Let's live more, play more, indoors.